Hello everyone, how are you all doing? This is Apple Tricks, and today's video is on how to get iOS 15's control center right now on iOS 14. You might be asking, what are you talking about? iOS 15 isn't even out yet. How can we get its control center right now? And you might even further ask, how do you even know how iOS 15's control center will look? Well, it has been leaked that there will be a major change in the control center's user interface. You might have heard of this already. This news has been going on for a long time, but now we're 90% sure it'll look just like Mac OS Big Sur's control center. On Mac OS, this is how the control center looks, so we will get a similar design. A city tweak has been developed and released to mimic this. I'm sure it's not 100% accurate, but it is pretty close and looks pretty cool. The tweak is called Big Sur Center and it'll be available for $199 on the tweaked repo. I'll leave the tweak name, the source, everything you need to know in the description. You can watch this video and decide whether it's worth your two bucks. If I open Control Center, you can see how similar it is to Big Sur. You have all the required modules right here. You can also tap and hold to show the airplane mode, airdrop, and personal hotspot buttons. The brightness and sound changes are now horizontal instead of vertical. Now you have a really thin now playing bar. You also have these power toggles to shut down, restart, respring, and enable safe mode. Obviously, this will not be in stock iOS 15's control center, but it is useful if you have a jailbreak. Finally, you have the additional customizable modules. When I open control center, you might have noticed it opened from the bottom. I don't think Apple will do this in my opinion, but many people are expecting this because it's hard to reach control center as it's on the extreme top right. If you're using a single hand, it's really, really hard to reach. So what's expected is that you can swipe up on the bottom right or bottom left to open control center as well. The middle is still reserved for the multitasking menu. Now this tweak is customizable. You can go into settings, Big Sur Center, and you can add your favorite modules, rearrange the modules, and a lot of other customizations as you can see right here. You can even change the gestures to enable opening control center from swiping on the bottom corners as I said. Overall, it's a good tweak. Do I think this is how iOS 15's control center will look? I would say probably about 60%. I'm sure that Apple will make it look a lot better. The tweak is $199 and I think it is worth it as the developer has done some hard work to create this tweak. If interested, be sure to check it out. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Peace.